Hello, and welcome back to Sentry's official YouTube channel. My name is Ahmed Atifi, and I'm a senior software engineer at Sentry. And today, I'm very, very excited to be sharing with you a great feature that the team here at Sentry has been working on, and it's called Suspect Spans. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Suspect Span surfaces the list of potential spam culprits for you. It enables you to see where the most time is spent in a transaction, helping you find the slowest operation or work taking place on your service without even having to click into each trace. Suspect Spans are accessible in each transaction summary via a new tab or the table in the transaction summary. Let me show you how to use this new feature. All right, now let's take a look at how we can use suspect span to leverage this information for us in, in the form of a shortcut so that we don't have to go deep into investigating every single transaction. So let's say we go to the exact same transaction, which is the checkout transaction. And as we can see here, it already surfaces for us this spring dot sales engineering span. And if we go into this span, we can see the details and we can see events associated with it, which is absolutely great. Now, there is another way to actually access this uh, suspect spans. So if we go again to the front end transactions and we go back to the checkout uh, detail page, we see here that there is a spans tab. And if we go to the spans tab, we also have the exact same table surfaced up for us here so that we're able to look at the spans that are actually quite slow. And so in just a few clicks, you have found the precise span that needs to be improved. And now it's on you, the developer, to apply some of your coding wizardry to improve the whole transaction time. And to even add on how much time you can actually save by using the suspect spans feature, let's take a look at this transaction with multiple potential culprits. Now to really shed light on how important or how useful the suspect span features is, let's take a look at this product's joint transaction. As you can see here, we've got a bunch of slow transactions and let's say we go to this particular event. And as you can see here, we have a bunch of potential culprits, which might not be very easy to read or to understand when you have that many spans. And so as we can see here, this, this is the spring.sales engineering span that was causing the issue. And so when we go back to the products join uh, transaction details and we take a look at the suspect spans here, it is actually surfaced for us here. And it's easy for us to understand what is causing the transaction to be slow and to really focus on that particular span and try to solve it. You can really think of suspect spans as insights on a silver platter. Quickly, you're able to see what exactly is slowing down your transaction, get all the information you need to solve it, and trace every issue from the front end to the back end. So this brings us to the end of this demo. Thanks for sticking around, and we hope we continue offering you value. If you have any ideas, comments, or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment on this video or contact us on any of our social. Stay bug-free, and see you next time.